You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. I want to say something a little animated, but I truly believe in this. And I saw this on Instagram. I saw it in a reel and it really stayed with me. I saw it at age 30. Okay. Though it sounds like a kiddish statement, I think there's some power in it. There's something called maternal lineage also. Maternal lineage means that in women, um, I believe uh, their mitochondria is exactly the same in terms of genetic profile as their mother's mitochondria and its genetic profile, mm -hmm. which is exactly the same as their nani, as in the mom's mom. And it goes back to the mom's 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 mom. Okay. So your ancient great grandmother has the same genetic profile of mitochondria that you have as a woman today. Okay. And for men, I think it's the X chromosome, if I'm not mistaken. Effectively, it means that you are very deeply connected even now to your great, great, great grandfather. Okay. So every man is connected to his male bloodline. Every woman is connected to her uh, female bloodline. Okay. So the quote I read was that do two things as a man. One, be the man who breaks the generational trauma mm -hmm. as well as pattern. Hmm. And the second thing is, be the greatest man that your bloodline has ever seen. Wow. That is very powerful, man. <laughs> and somewhere or the other, it's a reflection of our ambition, right? That's what we want to do. It's the ambition of everyone who chooses to live in this f***ed up city. Oh, really? Yeah, man. That's actually true. Because even the people who have come to my house, whether that's electrician or that's Raju Bhaiya, they have this ambition in them. And when I spoke to them, that's exactly what they told me in a different way. They said that, you know, my family has gone through a lot. But uh, I've come to the city because I want to change that. Effectively, the bloodline has been through a lot. Wow. Like going back to your great, great, great grandfather. Never thought about that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's an unbalanced city. There's a lack of work-life balance. There's noise, there's pollution. But you have the chance as that one man to break your bloodline's pattern. That's why they call it the city of dreams. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's genuinely the city of dreams because of the things you said that the ambition of other people rubs off on you. There's mentorship, yeah. there's opportunity, there's networking. Uh, but you have to just accept that there's going to be sacrifice also. <laughs> yes. A lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Ever since I've been here, I find very less time for myself. Back then I used to watch TV for like four hours before things school started. But now, although I have the best TV I've ever had in my life, I don't get time at all. Yeah. So getting time for yourself over here amidst the hustle and bustle, that itself is a luxury. So you have to keep up with the chaos and still keep your mind stable. That's the biggest challenge over here. And more importantly, because there are too many diversions, there's also a possibility that you might come here with a lot of ambitions, but because of all the diversions, you might end up doing stupid things, which will take you down the wrong path. As in you have a standard path, you've come here for your career and then there's like other... Correct unspoken about reality about this city once you've kind of taken off once you have a stable salary and all hmm. too many parties too many chances to get drunk all the time too many yeah. chances to get high all the time too much sex available easily for both men and women hmm. uh, can really help you spiral out of control correct i don't say help you but you got the point like it's it can really make you spiral out of control correct and that that spiral that you enter because of the drugs alcohol parties sex can really take you off of that reason you came to the city. It's a difficult city to live in. This spiral will affect your mental health. You won't be able to give your career your all. You may not be able to survive in this city. Correct. You'll have to leave. And you see countless stories like that, especially in Varsova, which is like mm. the media neighborhood. Okay. Here. Okay. Do you ever think about kids and shit? Like having kids? Yes. Um, I have a girlfriend and we've been dating for about four and a half years. So we think about kids a lot. And... Uh, I don't know how many of them I'm going to have. I'm extremely scared because I was a terrible kid, extremely mischievous. And my mom faced a lot of trouble while raising me. So I'm assuming that if I ever have a kid like myself, my life is going to be disrupted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think about this kid thing a lot because uh, at least with a lot of people my age who are now married, dude, I'm one of the few people in my friend group who's not married or who's not in a long-term relationship now. A lot of them are talking about these kid conversations. Hmm. Therefore, you're also getting to hear a lot of them talk about not having kids. There's a lot of people my age who don't want to have kids, hmm. especially in cities, because it's a huge trade-off. Yeah. And you see people who are 80s born, 70s born, who don't have kids, and they're some of the happiest people I know, honestly. Yeah. Also, some of the saddest people. Also, some of the saddest. Also, yeah. some, it's an extreme. So, you're 
by not having kids you're going to go down that gambling route correct and either your life is going to get fucked or <laughs> you're going to be really happy correct uh, it's one of the two uh, and then uh, kids is a safer kind of tried and tested averaged out model yeah. but it's 20 years of your life the consciousness i wake up with every day for my career for my team for building out whatever i'm building out mm. some of that is going to be channelized towards my children yeah to the 11 kids <laughs> <laughs> no but realistically speaking say if i have two or three hmm i can know i'm at least going to have two or three yeah how much of a chunk of my consciousness is going to go there how is it going to change my experience of life hmm. i have friends who are children of like multi millionaires and billionaires and all of them almost all of them say that they had an unbalanced relationship with their father because the father was building out the empire true i don't want to be that as well so that is very important bro and here's where you know work life balance comes in very very work life balance over here is very important so two years back i was working like seven days a week 16 to 17 hours a day very easily and um if you look at my videos back then i was not at all groomed was wearing the first thing that i got the lighting was bad the face was sleep deprived and things were really really bad but um, i was kind of loving it because of the growth that we were experiencing but then there was a point in time i think this is about one and a half years back if i'm not wrong where i realized that if i have to have a healthy relationship with my parents with my friends with my girlfriend i have to make sure that i work less and it's not like i was being very effective also so during that time there were only two people running the company me and my chief editor that's it pash was taking care of the sponsorships and both of us we were grinding for like 7 days a week we used to stay in the office for 7 days a week just to post two good youtube videos but the moment that hit me i started to build systems and when i started to build systems very consciously today i am able to sit with you over here because i know for sure that today's video is taken care of by the team so i think as we grow up it is important to understand that no matter how hard we work unless we build systems we won't work efficiently and once we build out systems we'll be able to buy a lot of time and what we do with that time is very important because it really doesn't matter if you have a billion dollars if your mother in the same house feels lonely in spite of your presence i think you have done a terrible job so it's not just the profession that matters it is also the people around you who matter and you have to understand that they are both different duties as much as it is important for you to work for your employees and your customers it is equally important to work for your parents your spouse your children so that you don't give them that traumatic feeling of having everything and yet nothing it is by far the most terrible thing to have so i think about it a lot and i'm and i put in conscious efforts to make sure that we're building better systems and i'm not becoming this hustler who's just whiling away life while making money new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe